Hi. Today, across the globe, many Windows users are facing this problem that they are not able to get their Windows 10 update successfully. It just starts with uh, some percentage slowly showing the screen and the percentage gradually increases and at certain point of time the percentage stops and it starts showing another screen saying we couldn't complete the updates as you, as you see here you couldn't complete the updates and doing changes and it also says do not turn off your computer the most torturing problem is that it just keeps running forever and we have to wait for and it's also as it says do not turn off your computer it's a little bit scary to do the hard restart as well so it keeps doing the same problem and I was experiencing experiencing the same problem for the past one week and I was able to sort out the problem today so I thought uh, let me make a video and let it be helpful for the rest of the globe many users who are facing those problem facing this problem so so it starts stops at some point of some, some percentage level maybe so for some users it's 50 or 40 or 60 and some even 99 percentage things get stopped at some point of time so after that and it shows such a, such a screen saying okay your pc run into some problem and it shows some qr code the error message may be different stop code may be different in uh, different cases but this is the screen is more or less same so everyone starts facing this problem so if you are one who is facing this problem just uh, continue watching this video uh, so I was recently facing the same problem for a while and uh, when I started investigating what it could be the problem could be so I found uh, some interesting facts and uh, I tried certain uh, approach so uh, but, uh, luckily it, it resulted in successful updates insta getting installed so as you can see my system so as you can see this is the update that has been running for many days and it keeps saying failed 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 just it keeps trying every other day and it says it's failed it's failed and as you can see this is the update this is that is uh, that's running forever and it keeps failing so what i did is i just tried to find out what it is really and what is, what could be the problem and i searched this kb update and i ended up here so i thought of trying to understand it but when i went inside i found like oh my god this many things are getting into uh, my PC as a single update and I'm sure it must be large so I was scanning through to find out what could be the size or if I can download it manually and install but unfortunately I couldn't find it the find the download here but what I found was uh, for my 64 bit version it is 1094 MB almost more than a GB oh my god so that's the reason that's uh, one possible reason which I was assuming so that it may be running out of space uh, no and remember your C drive may be having more space even more than 10 GB or that but still it fails and I had 15 plus GB but still it was failing and so what I did it, it could be due to the virtual memory and all those many scony concepts behind so what I did is first thing I cleared my temp folder by typing temp and going here and I cleared all this thing after that another temp so this is percentage temp go there and clean all these files after that go to my computer and in the primary OS drive just right click and go to properties so in your you know, drives OS drive properties do the uh, disk cleanup so as you can see here so if you click disk cleanup it just bring uh, analyzes and brings up uh, information so let's wait for a while while it just collects other unwanted stuff 
so after you click this cleanup it just calculates all the information and then you get this dialog where you will while you get this dialog for the first time you will have only one tab that is cleanup tab and you will have a button here to clean all windows files something like that so as i did already this is showing wait less space for me for me so once you get this button another button to clean up all windows files just click that after again it will just collect information related to files then you will get this more options tab so go here and do these two things so this is important so just you can free more disk space by removing all but most recent restore points so it just retains your recent restore point and clean up your old restore points if any uh, i think recent one is good enough for most of everyone so so we can clean up the old ones so clean that up by clicking this button and then click ok on this uh, just to clean up wizard it will clean up all the unwanted junk files in the system so as i did already so i'm just closing it here now the next step next thing you can do is in tools you have to do optimize and defragment drive this is one good thing to ensure your drive is good so you can do after uh, click optimize you go here and you can click the analyze button it will analyze and then you can click the optimize button to for the c drive so it will just optimize that that's one thing then you have to do error checking of your drive so this will if you click this it will show it will scan your drive and so there is any problems in your drive it highlight any problems in your drive and it it will ask you to fix it by restarting the pc while restarting the pc it will just solve if there is any errors so this is this is also important because in many forums people are referring this could be one of the reason but and uh, so i did this as well so after i did and click ok so now all set so i just restarted my pc then as you can see it was failed from 16th 17th 19th the same update so it was continuously failing and today i got it successful so the cumulative update got successfully installed so that's how i got my update through so hope this will be helpful for you if you find this helpful please like this video and feed in your feedback in the comments section Thank you.